Have you ever gone through periods in your relationship where you felt that your partner wasn't as affectionate? Or maybe they seemed cold and distant? Well, this can be a normal experience in relationships as our levels of affection and intimacy tend to fluctuate. When this happens though, people tend to worry that it means something bad about them or the relationship. While there are situations where that might be the case, there are also times that a partner may not be demonstrating as much affection and has nothing to do with you or the health of your relationship. My name is Dr. Shelley Sommerfeld. I'm a psychologist and relationship coach with the Loving Roots Project. And today I'd like to give you some of the reasons behind partners not showing affection. Number one, different boundaries and personality. People have differences with the amount of affection that they're comfortable expressing. For example, when someone grows up in a family who never showed affection, they may feel uncomfortable with demonstrating physical affection in their relationship. This has nothing to do with their partner, but it's simply a difference in boundaries and comfort zone. Personality also plays a role in the level of comfort that a person may have in showing affection. Introverts, for example, may feel less comfortable with expressing affection, while extroverts can show affection with ease and much comfort. So if you have a different personality than your partner, you may see these differences. And number two, feeling comfortable. It's common in relationships that when a couple's been together for quite a while, they may be very comfortable and forget the key aspects of courtship and physical affection. When we were first dating, there are often more attention and emphasis that's placed on demonstrating affection. But once a comfort level is established, it's common to not place as much emphasis and really not show your partner as much affection. This is not necessarily due to not desiring your partner, but simply due to feeling comfortable and not putting forth the same amount of effort and attention, which is really important. And number three, closed off to intimacy. For many people, showing affection in a very intimate act is intimidating. And when someone is feeling fearful or closed off to intimacy, they may avoid initiating this altogether. This could be due to something that's happened to them previously in other relationships or even in childhood. The person may be closed off and resistant to physical affection or even emotional vulnerability. This is an issue that's about them their comfort level with intimacy, and not their partner. It can be difficult for many people to show affection, and not because they don't want to, but because it's very uncomfortable and difficult for them to do so. And number four, off balance. Often, when we get caught up in focusing on other areas of our life, such as work, school, or social aspects, then we unintentionally neglect other aspects of our life. Again, this may, may not be due to lack of desire in your partner or the relationship, but simply because our attention is focused elsewhere. It's common that if one partner has something major happening in their life and it's taking their full focus, such as high levels of stress or a major work project, then they can really get off balance and forget to demonstrate affection toward their partner. It really takes living and having a healthy balance in your life and putting your partner in relationship as a priority to maintain that physical intimacy and connection. And number five, insecurities and difficulties with vulnerability. There can be times when someone may not be feeling as secure or confident within themselves. And this could be due to body image issues or overall self-esteem. Many times when someone is not feeling confident, they won't want to initiate affection. Demonstrating affection does take courage and being vulnerable. Therefore, if someone's not feeling brave or wanting to put themselves out there in a vulnerable way, they may not be as willing to demonstrate affection. 
This again has to do with their own issues related to self-esteem, confidence, and nothing to do with the partner or the health of the relationship. And number six, mental health. It's common that when someone is experiencing a disturbance in their emotional or mental health, they may not demonstrate as much affection as they would other times. Some mental health examples include things like depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, even obsessive compulsive disorder. When someone is under distress due to an imbalance of emotions, they are less likely to show affection to their partner. If you notice that your partner is experiencing mental health symptoms, then it's important to talk to them about how they're feeling and ask if you can be of support or help. Or see if you can assist them in seeking professional help. After reviewing some of these issues that may cause partners not to show as much affection, it's important to note that if you see some of these changes in your relationship, talk to your partner. Communication is one of the best and most direct ways to address issues in a relationship. Sit down and have a conversation with your partner about how you feel and what you're noticing. This way you can discuss any feelings and develop a strategy for best addressing the situation. You can check out my other relationship-related videos where I give spe specific suggestions on boosting intimacy in your relationship. You can find those videos and blogs on my webpage or social media accounts. Also, if you'd like free tips for couples every week, as well as inspirational material for relationships, check out our group on Facebook called the Couples Collaborative. Thank you.